Hi, we are the Brazier Middle College Social Sporks. I have a few questions for you. Have you ever been judged based on the way you look or act? Have you ever been judged because of something you did? Have you ever judged someone based on the way they looked, acted, or based on something they did? If so, you're a part of the bullying community. Bullying is defined as any mental, emotional, and or physical abuse towards a person or victim. This includes name calling, seclusion, and physical attacks, such as hitting and tripping, that hurts someone's feelings. The misconceptions of bullying are stereotyping, everyone bullies someone, and bullying affects everyone, whether it significantly impacts their life or not. Bullying has its definition, but it's also something that defines us. Who we are is built upon how we have interacted with others and the injustice of bullying, especially as we grow older. School is full of victims, but also with instigators. There's no middle ground. Through our interviews, we have learned that almost everyone has been bullied and that everyone has been a bully. We understand that everyone has a different coping process, from music, social networking sites, and self-harm. Everyone has a different way of coping with bullying. The reports of bullying is higher during middle school than during high school. Peer pressure is the main cause for bullying not being reported. Bullies are more physically violent during high school than during middle school, where bullying is mostly based on rumors and gossip. But overall, we have to forgive the bullies for causing the pain and suffering. Forgiving may be hard, but overall, it will be better in the long run. The most important thing that we have to remember is that you are never alone, no matter how alone you may feel. To conduct the research, our group discussed our personal experiences together. We looked at statistics to gain a better perspective on the effects of bullying. The bulk of our research was done through interviews. We asked people about their bullying experiences in elementary, middle, and high school. We interviewed people outside of our school and conducted video interviews within our school. In elementary school, most bullying results from insecurities and ignorance. Kids will target other people's insecurities to boost their own security in themselves. Bullies will target people based on others' abnormalities, weaknesses, race, sex, social class, and religion and watch others' examples on TV and throughout life in general. They watch their parents and how parents will bully, pick favorites, etc. We decide that most bullying in elementary school is composed of name calling, teasing, and physical bullying as well as humiliation. Most bullying generally happens on buses at recess or in gym class when teacher supervision is lacking. We decide that teachers can be bullies and target children as well based on many personal experiences. Bullying can result from jealousy as well and that intense desire to be accepted by society. Some influences include changes from elementary to middle school, such as puberty dating and the formation of cliques. There arises a power struggle, pressure from new standards and freedom as well as a new reputation. Middle schoolers are looking for an outlet to let off steam or cope, which leads to an open door for bullying. In high school, we found an underlying theme of pressure. Pressure from our friends, family, school faculty, and ourselves. From this pressure, it stems into competition. Competition with our grades, the clothes you wear, the friends you have, and the technology you keep. Stressing the importance of eradicating insecurity by creating a sense of self-acceptance instead of desire for acceptance without the pressure to be like others and the ability to resist the chains attached to these personal horrors of bullying on both sides. We are going to write, direct, and produce a play about bullying in order to introduce bullying to our community as a social injustice, as well as let our project personify that bullying is not justified by any means we're also going to address who gets bullied and why people bully others. Cause they know there's someone somewhere.